malungil litasil se Chianis, e malungil litasil se Murarogul Agal Mlo. O sa pwede ko tunin ay al afternoon e mga ngasuli la Senator Salvador Talam sa mga PWFM na tayo mati al sa amil ko kalimutil meri la litasil se e wukti mong ruti al gade programa ay gil bebira programa Kimurul ay gil namang mga club se Kena memberikan lebih kalau penggela Emi menteri kelu punya bebira registrengi di Emi melati bermasang relal sil semula dia kasih bel mei makuk meli memperkenal nama agak temoni hub ministry ye, ini mulut lagi relal sil kita relal afternoon al mal di mo masal pra dengan bela Dios ma aklum yole dar mula Yesus Kristus relal kita sil se, ma di tu ngati kebel time dia tersih tiada kerja berprogram lagi di Cheney se. Eh, yang mungkin tera Perry ma Brother Arnold, memang meski tak tera litak, sebab mereka melulu, eh dalam mal mereka program mereka. Hanya dalam lulu eh, abu beliau sagi mengapa orang klaim lelalita sil se mal jual tang serga mereka sulem, lelal time, lelal sikang al sebab mal al guk me eh mo, um sabda abe birat tukul dikirim ma klung yolem, mal ngabe me dah mal jual serial sulem mak. Mereka nak sulit mertial radio station lah, PWFM lah, arve kalau ada mesti beli alat kaki tasil sve, ni guk mama time, al mermeng sabi bila, awngil tukoi, al dikirim, mana ngapai mereka mal dios magi, atau si tial si kang lekor kau, atau tak kira ulil mal belukong, ngang kira ngal game Yesus, amen. Maba aku mungkin tera Perry, ma brother Arnold. Tu mau itak la, tak lihat teralitak le jenis ni kalau mal mal mula program lagi.
Amen, amen. Malosil siya ni sa inyong mga malungin lita sil sa yung kabim na kalme emi man sa emi kukura di mga kura hostri gibi yung sa mga niya question sa mga gil gilil tiyal tamoni hop ministry kundi o gil yung kamama malumol mal yung pastor amo siya gil kukul siya lal lita sil sa Good afternoon Ipi Good afternoon Pastor Ipi My understanding, I was saying, we're having this special Tamani Hope Ministries talk show today because of Pastor Felis Felisian Mao. I see. He's leaving tonight. I just have a few questions to to him. When did you last come to Palau, and what have you been up to? Uh, so, uh, it was uh, last uh, last year, um, around um, March, or and uh, when we did the uh, Sahi Field, February, March. Yeah. yeah. And then I returned around June, and we did uh, other outreaches. Uh, so this is uh, m my return this year, and. Um, 
and God has been gracious where when people uh, hear the message of uh, the love of God and uh, being called into holiness and walk right with God, people have responded. So it's been uh, wonderful. What have I been doing uh, when I was away from uh, from Palau? Um, I've been traveling to several states, uh, uh, doing very similar to what I'm doing here uh, in Palau, and uh, um, and we do a lot of uh, prophetic uh, activities where uh, people come in and experience the presence of God and encounter um, the reality of uh, who God is. Thank you for sharing. Um, you know, Brother uh, Jacob Yang Ilmao and Sister Amy Katosang has been uh, inviting me to stop by Ergold Park uh, for a few weeks uh, until um, until March first. That was that was two weeks, uh, two Wednesdays ago, and uh, I'm just lost for words. Uh, I felt connected. I felt a lot of th thoughts are were going through my mind that uh, that evening when I was sitting at the summer uh, summer house watching you guys perform and singing really good uh, songs and the vibe there it was really inviting. Um, I was wondering what's the meaning of tamoni? Um, tamoni is uh, is a sense release word. Um, and uh, it means the word uh, tamor it means God so when you put that word tamoni is uh, God of and we carry the message of hope so God of hope ministries uh, we bring hope to the uh, people who are uh, devastated by life uh, there's always hope in God no matter where the person is uh, in their situation uh, and so we always offer that uh, God can fix anything and he's able to fix anything uh, and it's just a matter of people hearing uh, the message of Jesus reaching out if we could use the example of the two um, uh, prisoners who were up on the cross that Jesus willingly go and die on the cross to be with those two and and Jesus offered hope to them no matter what the situation is, so if you could see that as, as, a, as a picture. Pastor E.P., do you want to translate that? Madang ang mga malungil, itasil sa waigil, el belas ka tiyanis, el grila, ang pastor Felician niyang ilmang ka, wigra sonsorol, may gilul ka rin niya tiyanis sa sing, ngayon nga last el merbela, um nga last year, e merula ikagit lurio, el grila, เราเรียกเราเดียวสิเรียกเราโมสบิลกูเอาทริตสิมอร์ติเกลอาเดลเอลทีราอุสเปียงเอสไมเกลลูเรียลนี่อัมรูลเอลฟอลโลอับราเอ
how did you come during that pandemic time that you know coming to Palau in that critical time is like you have to get shots to come to Palau. Thank you, Pastor E.P. Yeah. Um, when I was in the state, I heard God said uh, for me to come to Palau, and I knew that I had to take the shots uh, for uh, the vaccine. Um, and I reminded God that I don't take medicine, mm. uh, a vaccine, but I, I submit to the, the law of the land to in order to enter Palau, you have to take the vaccine. So I took the vaccine, and for the reason God said that uh, the church is going dark, meaning to say that um, uh, people are going to be scared of death. Okay. Okay. Um, Seguido el tema, no hay pandemia que el mío, no le quiere el mar seguido el orus, ningún lugar al cosen ya que no le quiere el mar ser orus, ningún lugar, mil lugar el mar rubá que mil lugar cosen por ser el el mes, lo he hecho el ni el mundo se cosen, he hecho seguido el pandemia, ya lo que el alma mar cristiano a dimla monta que te ha ido el covid nineteen, un mal cora, no hay actor el gol que el mira Dah lagi le siapa, ada kalau orang orang belum dapat terjaga dal COVID-19 memang segi dengan nilo orang se ultra kekira rupa kosak muda lorus yang murbelau almol mo awai sa ku igel lumil klum ah el diosa olabel me miskin. And so when I come, I use the term we flow in the prophetic and apostolic. And I use that term because uh, n n we have to recognize that uh, 2020 is a timeline that uh, the kingdom of darkness released demons into the world, into the nations. And there have been many people who died. Uh, and we have to understand that uh, we're not the only one going to heaven. Angels don't. The, also, demons are trying to feel hell. And that's the reality. And it's going to take the prophetic voice. Uh, pastors are very loving, which is wonderful. But we need a prophetic voice that calls out the, the, the demons that are run, being loosed into the land. Mm. And that's why there is death. Oh. And if you don't uh, call it out, um, we're going to blindly accept uh, viruses just as sickness. Uh, and you have to understand, demons harvest people to go to hell. Mm. And so there's heaven and there is hell. And we need to uh, uh, make the people be aware. Uh, yes, you can uh, be loving, but you have to recognize that uh, you can be loving today and die tomorrow. Mm. And because that's the assignment of demons, is to kill. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, so when, I, when I use that term, we're prophetic apostles. Mm. Is because we have to speak truthfully. We have to speak very clearly that unless we come under the protection of Jesus Christ, under the banner, and, and without this voice, uh, we're just going to excuse the virus as, uh, as something that uh, we just have to go to the hospital. Um, medically, it's proven that some are protected from the medical. Mm. But some are not. Yeah, that's right. Too. And so we have to look at that case and say, okay, where do we come in? So this is where we have to boldly tell people that there is power in the name of Jesus. Mm. We have to speak to the nation and declare, you know, Second Chronicles 7.14. It's as if my people, who are called by my name, shall humble, humble themselves, themselves and pray and seek my face. So we need to call on people that... There is protection in the power of God. There is protection when we turn away from sin. Sin is the door for death to come. Mm. And, and so if you, if you have your eyes open and you see the virus coming to kill people, then you say, is this just a medical or is there something behind yeah, it? Did. So as prophets in the land, you say, hey, there's demon attached to this. Mm. And the only one that removes demons are the church of church God. Alive. And you have to go under the protection of the blood of Jesus. And if we don't make this known to the people, then they're, de they're left defendless. So, so we have to stand up and boldly declare, 
prophets and apostles. I, I understand people are scared mm. of this term, prophets and apostles. But, you know, there's false pastors, there's false teachers, mm. there's false everywhere. And the word false, it, it doesn't mean uh, that, uh, that it's not for the current day. In order for you to have like a counterfeit money, mm. in order for that to be a comfort, counterfeit money, you have to have the real money. Yes. Going on at the same time. Same time. So if you say there's a false prophet, then there are true prophets in mm, your midst. In the midst. Yeah. So you cannot say say false prophet without the true prophet in your midst. And what does a prophet do? He called the nation to repentance. Amen. Amen. And and you know, uh, life is not guaranteed. Yeah, that's true. You could be healthy today, and tomorrow, tomorrow you're gone. Gone. And this is a reality. And so this is this is where we come in and say. There is hope in Jesus. Amen. There is power in Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, if you would allow me, Romans 10, verses 9 and 10, it says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart mm. that Jesus was raised from the, the dead, dead, then you shall be saved. So, this is, this is uh, an aspect that we are calling on people to turn to Jesus repentance we need to turn to god for his protection and so i'm just going to lead for those who are out there that hear my voice and you want to come under the protection just follow my instruction mm. it says you confess you with the mouth so i'm going to lead in prayer yes and pray with me it's prayed out loud mm. lord i confess with my mouth lord i confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord. That Jesus, Jesus is Lord. And I believe in my heart. And I believe in my heart. That He was raised from the dead. That He was raised from the dead. And now He's seated in the heavenly places. And now He's seated in the heavenly places. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now the Bible certifies that we make that confession. The Bible says now we're born again. We're mm. saved. Yes. Why is it important for that step? Because without that step, without being born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God being operated, operated in our midst. So when we travel, there are three things that I tell to people. We need to close hell. Mm. We need to open heaven. And then we need to activate the kingdom of God in our nation. Amen. Those are three things. So let me repeat that again. We need to close hell because hell is eternal. Mm. That means once you cross there, there's burning, there's worms. It's all the bad things. There's no water. You'll be thirsty forever. And we need to open heaven. Why? Because God is there. God is the source of life. God is the fullness of life. And we need to spend time in eternity with Him. Now, why am I saying that we need to release the kingdom of God here on earth? Because all our lives, we have prayed, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. So our prayer has been to bring heaven the culture of heaven here on earth. We have always been praying, but we never connected with have, with have that understanding. So if you're praying that kingdom come on earth, we are saying the resource of heaven, let it manifest, Amen. let it be here, let it help our people. Let there be replenishment, let there be multiplication, let there be prosperity, let there be increase. That's the prayer. And it's a spiritual prayer prayer it's a spiritual manifestation. manifestation and that's why we build kingdom of god that's why we baptize people that's why we call people if you are living together and you're not married mm -hmm. the bible said you're under a curse that means no matter how much you try to love each other you're always short on your money you're always short on your temper mm -hmm. and you'll always argue no matter how much you love each other it's always like there's always demons around to make you guys upset at each other without God. And so we call out to you guys, if you guys are not married, go and get married. Receive the covenant from God. Why? Because then God will bring His favor, His blessing upon you. And then, I mean, you're going to argue, but less argument. You know, you argue now for the marriage, not against each other. And so this is the blessing. So when I say, come into the things of God, there is peace, there is joy, and there's a reality of this kingdom of God. And it's not like we wait until heaven and then you experience it. God, the power of your prayer, brings the reality of heaven here on earth. Praise the Lord. And so let me repeat that again. You have to be born again 
to see the operation of the kingdom of God in your midst. Because we've been praying all our lives, mm. our Father, and never make that connection that you're praying for heaven, events, culture, activity yeah, to be Lord. released. When you say, thy kingdom come, you're asking for the spirit of God to be in your midst, the power of God to be on you, to uh, uh, strengthen you, to empower you so that you could live a powerful, godly life, a powerful, victorious Christian life here on earth. Why do we let the, the demons rule in our midst? Mm. And this is the place that when we say we are the prophet and apostle in your midst, because we're addressing that it's issues. time to make mm. turn and start living for God as God called us to. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Any questions? Because during the, the pandemic, mm. you know, especially the churches, mm. we wear masks, uh, yeah. distancing. Yeah. So. Yeah. And and I understand the, the medical uh, profession ask us to do that mm. because they're trying to figure it out. Yes. And that's them. But what was the church doing? The church uh, responsibility is to feed the people of God with faith because f without faith it is impossible to please God mm. and this is where we need to encourage the people of God to rise up learn to walk with faith learn to walk and appropriate or or uh, make the word of God work for you you know that's what the word of God is the word of God is the power of God but Many times we don't know how to make it work for ourselves. Mm. And so this is where we come in and say, make the word of God be your protection. Make the word of God be the way. Jesus, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. That's a good statement. But how does it work for us now? How, what does that mean? How can it work for us? And this is where we need to challenge the people of God. I'm not talking about people who don't know God. I'm talking about the churches. I'm talking about the people of God. What are you doing? Because Jesus died to make this available for us. And it's time for us, so I'm calling up the churches. You gotta feed your people, you gotta strengthen them. Because here's the, st here's the reality, and this is where I'm gonna drop. It's gonna get worse. Mm. There's gonna be, be more me. viruses. You, uh, how far can you go? How Can you hide in the closet? Mm. Uh, I mean, where can you go? And, and you're gonna be backed up the wall, and you have to decide that you're a child of the Most High God. Jesus came to give you the power of His Spirit, and then come out of the closet with, with the sword of the Spirit, you're fully armored according to the book of Ephesians, and start walking in the armor of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The reason why I, I put out prophets and apostles is because prophets and apostles deals with the kingdom of God. And that's a little, little different concept because we're so used to the model of a church, mm. which is a building that you go there on Sundays, and, and the rest of the week, you, you, the demons beat you up. Mm. The kingdom concept is Jesus is king. The, his, the kingdom is his kingdom. And we res, represent how powerful King Jesus, Jesus is. is. And we live in the freedom, the victory of Christ Jesus over our lives. So I said, if you are living in sin, you are saying the demon is powerful. And you are testifying of the power of sin Saints. to Satan mm, and strong. demon on your life. And I said, we need to stop that. We need to say, this is what Jesus did over my life. Rescue me from my brokenness. Rescue me from, you know, the lifestyle nice of guys. sin. Because when you do that, you're saying there is power in the name of Jesus. And right now, in the churches, we've allowed the, the people to just live in sin. And we're not saying, hey, you are demonstrating the power of Satan over your life. Mm. And we need to turn away from that. And that's why I say we need to step in in a prophetic sense and call people to, to demonstrate that Jesus is powerful. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so let me let me just go ahead and yes. close. Yes, close. Because we need to understand the timeline. Daniel 2, verses 3 and 4, he says, there is this big rock that will come and crush the, the statue that Nebuchadnezzar dreamt about. Mm. And I'm going to make it very quick. Please read Daniel 2, 3 and 4. That rock that destroyed that empire is going to increase until the return of Jesus to the end of time. And what does that mean? That rock represents the kingdom of God, uh, not the church. The rock. The rock represents the kingdom, kingdom of, of God. God. Why is it important for the kingdom of God? Because you cannot have a kingdom without a king. Mm. Okay. So 
the kingdom is the representation of Jesus, Jesus. king and the power is resident in the kingdom so when the spirit of God comes is to impart to live up being a citizen of in this kingdom. kingdom with power with reality being delivered from the kingdom of darkness and if we continue living in darkness we are saying that the kingdom of darkness is more Strong powerful Amen. Amen. So I just want to leave at that and just bless you guys. It is a good time to live for the Lord. It is a good time to embrace Jesus as your king and walk in his kingdom. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, you have a question? Yeah. Well, I cannot help being curious. Uh, Pastor uh, Felician, you have mentioned church. Uh, earlier, but does Tamani Hope Ministries have a church? So, so Tamani Hope Ministries is a, a, a it's an organization that God has raised up in a, a prophetic sense. So I'm going to get to the issue of the church. So that we are calling people to live in the reality that Jesus died to empower us. Mm -hmm. Now, do we have church here? Yes, we do. For those who found freedom, we have to provide an avenue where they're, they're discipled. We provide an avenue so that they will be taught what sin is, what uh, grace is, and live in the kingdom of God. Um, and so, so th the answer is yes. Okay, yes. thank you. Um, Amen. One last question. What will happen when you leave with the program at Ermal Park? Uh, so, continue? from what is happening the uh, pastor if can answer that yes so pastor felician and then we continue to do our programs at erungul park and uh, every night starting thursday night friday night saturday night and then sunday we have a service at erungul park yeah let me add something to that mm. um we're not just doing event so that we can sing and okay, make you feel yeah. good mm. when you come and you are demon possessed or demon oppressed um, we want to make sure that we remove demonic influence oppression suicidal thoughts are demon sent so that you could kill yourself um, and so the other thing is people get into witchcraft unknowingly they're like we need help you know we go there so someone can help us but in getting witchcraft you are inviting demons, demons. to uh, uh, carry out to do that, but the but the payment to use demons sure, death. is death. And so we want to let people know if you use witchcraft, you've already released demon over your life, and we need we will let you know you don't. That's not a good one. Get the angels because they perform life, um, and then for those who need healing, Jesus died. The many promises of God by his stripes we are healed he sent for his world and healed all their diseases the children's bread is healing so there's many promises of God that we appropriate or or we 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 make it available or or an act mm. so that people will walk away uh, being touched by the living God so this is what we do um, and 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 offer hope and not just hope but deliverance and bring healing to people Okay, you've you've mentioned witchcraft. Um, I haven't uh, seen. Can you please explain that? So witchcraft, witchcraft is um, a, a channel where people go and chant to ask spirits to help them. And so there's the good spirit and there's the bad spirit. The good spirit is the spirit of God. Amen. And so it's not like we don't ask for help. It's just that when you ask for help apart from what Jesus has offered, there's always a there's always a payment for it. Mm. It's not like it's not like I can do this and walk away. No. When you ex when you say Jesus, I accept you. There's a there's a payment to walk with Jesus, and He already paid with His life. Amen. And so He made the Holy Spirit available for us. When you go to witchcraft, what happened is that there's, there needs to be a payment for that. But what happened is there's no yes. debt being paid for, so you have to pay for it with your life somewhere along the way there's going to be a breakdown because death is always required when you go step into the spiritual realm so my my issue out there for those who do witchcraft i i hope that helped you and please um, 
uh, if you did it, come to Ernold Park and we'll remove the demons and then get the spirit of the living God. He already paid it with his life, paid it with his blood. It's paid for. It's complete. You can have it. Amen. He's gi Jesus gave it freely. Amen. Amen. My free ticket to heaven. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have a question. During the last, uh, had some weddings, you were saying that the weddings are like shadow of... Yes. So what does... So, so here's the thing. When, when two, two people come to get married, that's just a shadow of Jesus uh, uh, giving up his life oh, for his bride. For his bride. Okay. And so when we get married, it's the husband or male, female, mm. they come together. It's an example of Jesus. Okay. When we ask people to get married, is to receive the covenant. And a covenant includes God. When you receive covenant, God is saying, well, I'm the protector mm, of this marriage, marriage that I put together. And so when you receive words like, I will never leave you and I, I will never receive, uh, leave you, you and never forsake you, that is a covenant word. That's almost like the husband telling the, the wife, I will never leave you yeah. and I will never forsake you. So that's the picture. And most people without the covenant from God, oh. the demons can easily come and tempt you. Like for me, yes. I'm traveling and a beautiful woman come around and I'm like, woo. That's but empty. with a covenant, my eyes, uh, the covenant say, hey, keep your eyes straight. Mm. Yeah. So I'm just saying that because covenant is so important because God protects you, God covers you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, that's all the questions I have for now. And oh, hey. maybe one last. Uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> when are you planning to uh, return back to Palau? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know the 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 simple the, the simple answers as the Lord leads. <laughs> but <laughs> most people are like no, we want exact. So it's possible that um, I could come um, um, fall or or late summer. Yes, possible. If not, it'll be like mm, next yeah. next year March around this time. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, and we wish you a safe travel to thank wherever you. you're going. So we'll and sing. Uh, let Brother Arnold and uh, Perry sing one more song, and then we'll we'll close with a prayer. Okay. Yeah.
Thank you, Lord. Janis, I will ask Pastor Felician to close with a prayer. Hallelujah. Yes. Father, we just thank you. Lord, uh, your word says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and whose people his inheritance. I Father, see. we declare that Palau is blessed, Lord, as they call upon you that you are um, the Lord, you are the Savior, you are the King over this nation. Father, even as the people uh, declare before you that um, they are your people. Father, in that confession, in that declaration, Father, we activate, we, we um, uh, act out this mm. word that, yes, Palau is blessed because of people embracing Jesus as their king. Father, we thank you that you will release the, the powers of your kingdom, Lord, and there's protection over the land. Father, we thank you that sickness, Lord God, will be removed. Demons will be, be removed, Father God. Our uh, relationship will be restored. We thank you that these are uh, the, your power that is, you're able to provide for your citizens. Mm. Father, I thank you for those that are outside your kingdom. Lord, I pray that they embrace you and accept you so that they may uh, enjoy the benefit of this kingdom Amen. right now. And Lord, we just pronounce blessing upon the, the leaders of the nation. We pronounce blessings upon all the uh, organization that uh, is put together to uphold this nation. Father God, and I thank you, Lord God, that the mercies of God are new every morning, that you are, have made it available for this nation to come into its destiny and pursue the calling of God upon it. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.